Yo, it's Bogue. Welcome back to KSP. Today, we're going to be fixing the most terrifying part of deep space travel and Kerbal Space Program, which is having to spend literal decades in space in a tiny command pod before arriving at your destination. This is how to cryogenically freeze your Kerbals so they don't have to spend decades in space doing nothing with the mod Deep Freeze Continued, which comes with these cool cryopods that you can freeze your Kerbals with so they can spend the rest of the trip in suspended animation. So let's get right into it. Here we are in the VAB and we can take a look at some of the parts from the deep freeze mod. You have a couple different options for your cryonic freezing chambers here that hold a different level of crew capacities. So we've got ones from one Kerbal to 10 Kerbals, eight Kerbals. Yeah, you can pack a lot of them in there. So I'm gonna try to build a craft real quick with all of the pods or most of the pods so we can get a, get a vibe on how this mod works. You're gonna to wanna to pack a lot of electricity as uh, freezing Kerbals and thawing Kerbals takes a fair amount of electricity and electricity capacity. So I'm just about done building this example craft. And uh, another thing you're gonna to wanna to add is this uh, glycerol fuel. It comes with these little tanks in the mod. It's like a cryogenic fuel that uh, it uses to freeze your Kerbal, so you, you can run out of that stuff, so you want to pack enough. And I just cheated the craft into orbit so we can take a look at the part model interiors. I'm going to transfer two of my Kerbals into the mid-sized cryo chamber, and you can see that they've got these really cool detailed interiors that you can float around in, freely traverse with the mod Free IVA. And to freeze your Kerbals, you click on Deep Freeze on the mod kind of pop-up menus on the right and you can just hit freeze and it takes some electricity and the pod will close and freeze the Kerbal inside of it. And you, we can go ahead and freeze our other Kerbal here. It plays this really cool animation, pretty detailed too. And yeah, so we're frozen solid here. And you can see that that took a fair amount of electric charge and a couple units of glycerol which is that cryogenic fuel that I talked about earlier. And to thaw your Kerbals, you can just hit thaw. And once they're out of hibernation, hopefully they don't have too much of a headache or brain freeze, I guess. We'll transfer one of them into the largest cryogenic chamber here. This is the one that holds 10 Kerbals. You can stack like three of these on top of each other and you have an entire colonization crew. Pretty cool. We're connected to this mid-sized chamber we were just in. And yeah, those are the main ones that I use for deep freeze, but there are some other ones. This one that I just transferred a Kerbal to holds one Kerbal. You can't get out inside of it because it's too small, but this is the how the interior looks. Yeah, pretty cool. And there's also um, these ones on the end here. You can see them kind of hanging out. They have windows almost on this truss structure. Let me thaw another Kerbal real quick and transfer one of them into it. Uh, it has a pretty interesting interior because it has a just wide open window you can just stare into the vast endless expanse before you waiting to go into hibernation you can left click on some of these parts and it'll give you some more info on like if your Kerbal's alive or dead how cold it is how much electricity it takes etc and now that we're done with that i want to take one of my older craft from a mission that took like 80 years i believe to reach ervo the eris analog from the minor planets expansion pack i'll link that video down below if you want to check it out but i want to retrofit it with a deep freeze chamber because 80 years is just way too long to be hanging out to go to a dwarf planet as much as i do love dwarf planets so i put that freezing chamber on there and i put this cargo container part from one of the near future technologies mods i'll link those down below as well and what's cool about that is that you can use them to store glycerol, which is that freezing fuel that Deep Freeze uses, so that you don't have to use those janky uh, radial tanks that come with the mod. I don't think they have a very good look to them. They're kind of low detail. But here we are on the launch pad. We can cheat this thing up into orbit and check it out in all of its glory. This is probably one of my favorite spacecraft designs. I think it's just like really sleek and really cool aesthetically. And uh, we can check out the interior and see how the Deep Freeze cryo module uh, integrates with the rest of the spacecraft. So here we are in the re-entry module. You enter up into this kind of like intersection. That's a dead end. We'll go this way. Oh, that's like the inflatable habitat. If we float down this access tube that runs between the liquid hydrogen fuel tanks, we can enter into the centrifuge. Uh, so it has this hatch kind of rotating around. That's going to be like our artificial gravity ring. And through here is where the cryogenic freezing chambers are. So uh, yeah, we can put all three of our Kerbals into these guys as we're um, getting ready to head out. So I just turn on my 
uh, electric generator because these things do take electricity. Turn on my radiator and I've transferred all three of them into the cryopods and we can go ahead and freeze all three of them. And because I have a remote controllable probe core on my spacecraft, what we can do is we can do all of our maneuvers in deep space without any of the Kerbals awake to you know pilot the spacecraft. And it doesn't take very much glycrol, as you can see, to freeze the Kerbal, so you don't actually have to pack that much. Here's my probe core on the end of the spacecraft. It's kind of like my HAL 9000 piloting this thing while these guys are asleep. Little 2001 A Space Odyssey reference for you. But yeah, that's basically how to use Deep Freeze Continued for a Kerbal Space Program. Pretty useful if you don't want to, you know, keep all your Kerbals stuck inside a little command pod for like 200 years. I really like how it ups the immersion level too. Uh, yeah, so I highly recommend it. And that's about it for the video today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more KSB content like this. And I'll see you guys next time.